previous tutorials, I've talked about stroke length and we know that we have to alter the stroke length depending on the amount of line we've got out the rod tip. Less line, less stroke. More line, the greater the stroke length. Okay, we know that. And we know that we need to apply the energy throughout that stroke in a speed ramp. Starting at zero, ramping here, ending at 10 abruptly over the red comb. So we've got stroke length combined with speed ramp and, a, and an abrupt stop. Now we're gonna talk about how to add stroke length and smooth out that speed ramp and look stylish doing it. Body movement. Now, when I was learning casting, both single hand and double hand, um, I suppose everybody has their sort of signature style. Some people have a very aggressive, explosive style. Some people have a very elegant, almost no energy style. I used a lot of body movement in my casting, not because I wanted to look stylish or because I think I look stylish, but because it smoothed out my speed ramp and gave me a greater stroke length. What do I mean? Okay, here I am with approximately 30 feet of line at the tip. I've got a nice stroke length, yellow cone to back cone, yellow cone to back cone, a nice triangle. The triangle's sort of horizontal now. I'm gonna lift it in the air. There we go. Triangle method, alive and well. Drop the triangle, side cast, okay? But now I'm gonna feed line into my cast. And I'm gonna to have to increase my stroke length, which is fine. I don't need to move my body at this stage. But now I'm feeding quite a lot of line in, a bit more. And you notice that I'm rocking now. Back foot, forward foot. Back foot, forward foot. And what it's done is it's, it's increased my stroke length. If I rock from here to here, it's increased my stroke length by a foot either side. Just this gentle movement, okay? But it's done something else. Watch this with the speed ramp. I'm actually starting the energy at my ankles. See that? I'm starting the energy, almost drawing it from the ground through my ankles, pushing back, and then at the last moment, moving my wrist on the back cast and the forward cast. I'm not dragging my arms around. I'm using my body. Watch. Shh. And that creates an extremely smooth application of energy. Your speed ramp is, is so smooth and so elegant, but it has a lot of energy and loading power in it. Look at how many joints are in between you and your feet. All your knuckles, okay? I can cast a fly rod. I can keep my wrist straight and cast it with knuckles, look. Okay? I can cast it with wrist. I can cast it with elbow. I can cast it with shoulder. I can cast it with waist. So count all the joints that I have to isolate, okay? To create a smooth application of power because they all want to move and create squiggles in the line. If I isolate those and go straight to my ankles and lock all these joints in, look at this, look at this movement here. I'm not moving anything, but moving my weight forward to back, but the line's moving, but because it's locked from, let's say your knees and your ankles, you're only moving those joints. You're not engaging all these other joints, which your brain has to isolate and lock down to create smooth application of energy. Watch. I'm casting the full line with hardly any arm movement. It's all in this smooth rocking and uh, back and forth. It's, when I see people, they, I see them at fisheries, they stand, neutral stance, and they're just moving their arms, okay? Look what it looks like. It looks like, I don't know what, semaphore or something, 
okay? Now look how, now what happens when you've got body movement? Looks like dancing. And the line just responds and it, it, it loves it basically. It loves it because you're generating the power from your feet and you've got this mass moving. My body can, move, can bend this rod far more than my arms can. So if I want to get distance, I'm going to really generate that power from my ankles and I'm going to send it through my legs and I'm going to start bending from the rod butt and then the tip's going to follow. Here we go. I'm dragging the rod tip back here and at the last moment I'm pulling that back cast back and I've got this great big haul, great big stroke length. Look at that and, and it's there's so few places for it to go wrong because you're not trying to do it with just your arms and your fingers okay lean into it take out all the slack push from your front leg onto your back leg like fencing I call it drawing out a sword. Imagine you've got a, a broadsword in the olden days. You sink it into somebody. You're not going to pull the broadsword out by doing that, are you? You're going to stick it in somebody and then draw it out like that. It's exactly the same. Draw the broadsword out. Shh. Body movement. How do I express this? It's... When I was learning, it was a real pivotal moment in my progression where I looked like everybody else, quite frankly, and I could cast as far as everybody else to actually to being a real standout fly caster um, where I could get a straight, dynamic, effortless, long distance cast every time. Use your body weight to cast.